We have a question from Zach. Do you have any advice for making the move from a D1 college and strength conditioning setting into the special forces tactical sector? Any resources I should look into? Things that are the norm that wouldn't be in the tactical sector? Any do's or do nots from your experience? That's an interesting question. Yeah, you got to not. <laughs> the first rule of fight clubs, you don't talk about fight club, I guess. Um, you know, in, in my work, we call that a quadrant two athlete, you know, multiple, multiple, multiple things. Uh, there's a strange, uh, there's a massive influence on, like, you know, putting one foot in front of the other. Uh, strength and conditioning is different in that world. Um, you know, if you watch a show like Predator, that's not how most people look in that field. But pushing too many pencils is a scene that no one's ever going to forget. Um, I'm a big fan of those things called lift and sprints for them. That's when you do like goblet squats followed by sprints, uh, uh, overhead squats followed by sprints or sled pulls or, or hills are even actually better. Uh, where you're where you're doing you're training people the same way you would train an American football player or rugby player, with lots of uh, uh, different positions. Uh, another good one is a, a deadlift for five, say, uh, bear crawl. And then sprint. I, I love those little combinations. Um, really, a lot of it nowadays is rehab, uh, and I guess this prehab thing that you know people talk about a lot. But the best thing that you can do is be a master of proper technique. Um, uh, as best you can, you want to underload and under rep people uh, in that field because they've got so many other things, and. Uh, but they're big engines, and all they want to do is go, 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 go. Um, you know, I would just, you know, take good advice from that one commercial and stay in your lane, bro. Uh, you're a strength and conditioning coach, and you should focus on strength and conditioning. Uh, in my home library, I have a lot of things on this. Uh, there are places online that talk about it a lot. But, you know, getting through like the, the ranger training or uh, buds and seals or any of this selection stuff so much of it is the exact antithesis of everything we would say in strength and conditioning coaches you know he, the guy's gonna live on 600 calories a day for you know three weeks and they're expected to climb mountains and make rapid decisions with no food and no sleep in their head because that's the job so it's, it is a little different. You know, I like the question. I don't know where to go. Thank you.